Hello and welcome to the Walla Whites show, uh, where we just strictly wear, hang on, what have you done here? So, so we'll start again. Welcome to the Walla Preview show, where we'll whiz through this weekend's runners. We've got a busy, busy weekend ahead of us, and just sort of fresh off the back of a little stint home to Caraca. Yeah, how'd you find it? It's outstanding. Good sale. The race day was up. Good little vibe. Entain of just... Yeah, entain. Very entertaining, the Kiwis. Haven't they? What? Taking a few Australian ideas over there and bang, straight away the turnover was up. On Through the, the roof. 63%. That's a pretty big jump. Yeah. And they had six races. I can't see that happening for much longer. I'd say. Based on Royal Ascot, though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So maybe they have to follow Ascot into seven. Yeah, they used to have it on a Sunday and it was a twilight. Mm. Make sure it wasn't encroaching the sales, but. Money talks all languages, Charlie, and if they want to get their price money up, I bet there'll be more than six races there next year. Might and be got, 12. Might six be. on one day, six on the next. Mm. We've got the Group 1 Railway there next year, the West Breeze, the Phillies and Mears race, knocking on a Group 1 status. If that happens, mm. we'll be taking horses. Um, and uh, prize money's just going up. That's great. The merger, great the track race thriving. well. They had a bit of rain and got through the meeting. Good to get around there and not rub shoulders with a few of the locals, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. You, it were, was. you, you were, had a few of the old All Blacks eating out the palm yeah, of the hand, Warriors, Yeah, the Warriors were there. Yeah. That was good. Great to catch up with a few of the old friends. And you were a bit of a hit over there yourself, Charlie. Was I? Mm. <laughs> the one-armed... One-arm swing, eh? One-arm swing. Mm. Where'd you get that? Pretty impressive, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, when you're too good with two hands, you may as well start with one. Anyway, we'll uh, move swiftly on to what is a busy weekend in terms of venues, but yeah. not the massive numbers. Okay. Starting off at Rose Hill, race six, the big short number six, barrier five. He's ready to win this horse. Mm, we said that last start. He was ready. third. Yeah. Okay. Still um, ready. Yeah, I think up to 2,000. Yep. 1,800 last start, 2,000 this start. I haven't looked at the form yet. But um, from what I can see at home, he's ready to go. Watch okay. Out. Race seven, number two, Robusto. Last start winner, barrier one. James keeps the ride. Yeah, he was dominant last start. Mm. Sneaking up in the weights all the time, but gee, you love winning horses. And that form seems to hold up around this time of the year. The fields don't change a lot in quality. Just um, before all those group one horses stop. Mm, look out. Two or three weeks' time, be all systems go. A Logan Street line resuming, barrier four. Yeah, he's resuming. It's normal for our horses to take a run or two to find their fitness levels. Um, so, yeah, it'd be nice to see him finishing off strong. Okay, yeah, built, drawn 11 here, and also... In the 1,350 metre race, which is race eight, he's drawn four. Go there instead? I think so. We'll get our four man to have a look and mm. see what he suggests. But Barry draws, I think, win so many races these days, um, which is a shame because he's probably better suited to the 1,500. Mm. Coming Agreed. back to 1,350. Um, might be close. But mm. he's in winning form. Gracie Styler, barrier three. He's in good form. We put the blinkers back on last start. He all but won. Came from last. And um, he's trained on well since. He's ready to go. Etna Rosso, first up. <sighs> barrier seven. I think he's a good horse. Just smoked through the line. Yeah. Set him up for a campaign. He, I think he ran in the Irish Derby. Might have even run fifth or sixth. Prior to that, he was running places and listed in group races. Obviously. So I need a lot further than this. Can he keep up at least? Oh, he can't. He hasn't his jump outs mm. in Melbourne. Yeah, he's had two jump outs in Melbourne. Um, pretty happy with both of them. Yep. Good question though. But hey, you see, you see a lot of these good European horses come here. They're pretty handy. Yep. They do indeed. And Salt Coats, barrier two. He's matured a lot since his early three year old prep. It's a shame they're all running together. Mm. You can make a case for a few of them here. But um, he's going well. Okay. And race 10, Afterlight, barrier three. Good draw. 
We often good to win, see, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we often whinge about draws. We'll find something else to complain about before Saturday, no doubt. But, no, we won't. Uh, we'll all be all systems go. But she's well. Um, this is her level. She's no superstar, but she's won two or three races already this prep. Um, yeah. Okay. Run well. Just oh, the one. It's quite shiny, isn't it? Yep. How okay, come yours is not so shiny? But it is if I frown and do these down. I think I've got more, I think I've got more head than you. More head and I've got more hair. <laughs> You're nipping down to Caulfield. Uh, we have up and under drawn 16. Well, he's Etna Ross's mate. Yeah, uh, work buddy. So we've kept one down there and brought one up here. Perhaps his form's not quite as good as Etna Rossa. And perhaps from barrier 16 or 17, whatever you said. He might 16. find it a bit tricky. Mm. Not sure whether he'll run or whether we keep him for two weeks at Flemington over a mile instead. Okay. Nipping up to Queensland at Eagle Farm, we have a DeMarque in Barrier 7. He'll like Race this three. distance, 2,118 metres, is it? Yep. James Orman rides, pretty good draw. Geez, he's got to win one soon. You would think so. Yeah. Uh, he's settling better. I want to see him finish off a bit better. Okay, race four, Masquerade, barrier six. Yeah. She'll appreciate the rain up there, won't yeah, she? Yeah, she will, shall we? So she'll head on up there tonight. Yep. And um, 800 metres will suit. Definitely. First up runs the pass mark. She wasn't been far. No. Drop and grade. Yeah, no races for in Sydney. That's why she's going up. Fleur de Monde, Mark de Plessis. Um, good run, fresh up. A couple of weeks ago, tricky draw here. Place chance. Each way chance. Race nine, Russo. Uh, just needs a bit of speed on. Doesn't win out of turn, but gets his chance here. Shopping a spree, drawn two. Ran third up. Terrific race last start. First two runs have been good. Wasn't suited by the slow tempo last start. Trained on well. Salik, third up. Yeah, she'll appreciate a bit of giving the track. Um, a run at the Magic Millions was a pass mark. This is mm. a bit easier. Needs to lift. Capable on her day though. Yeah, race 10, Warrior Falls. Could probably give him a bye. Wait for a mile race next week. Leave the table draw. draw. Okay, then we go back in time to the Canterbury Friday night. Gee. Yeah, we've got to, told you. Automation. Nash won't drop the stick two weeks running. No, no, he won't. She was terrific first up. She had very hard to beat from a soft draw on Friday night. Amaro drawn seven in the 12.50, also in the 1100. Probably keep her to the 1100. Where she drawn one. Yeah, she ran okay. over a thousand metres last start. She'll get further, but I think just sneak her up in distance slowly. Overview? Uh, she's in two races. Drawn three and five? Yeah. Uh, I think 12.50 with her, so she'll run the where she's drawn slightly better. Yeah. Don't know if she could beat automation, but she's trialed well. She has. She's trialed, she goes a lot better than what she's performed at. Is that fair? Mm, yep. Yep. A long way better. Yeah. Race four, St Andrews, barrier three, J Mac. Yeah. Likely to need a run or two, mm. but um, good to have James aboard. Good draw. Be nice to see him finishing off strongly and take some confidence out of the run. Okay, race five, Ring Ahoy. He was Awkward terrible draw. last start. Mm. Now, you he's... told me he hates the Kenzo. Is that right? Yes. Last time he raced at Kenzo, two times ago, the first time, he won the start before, then ran last, and then ran second in his next start. And I think this is similar. He won. He's three seconds leading yeah. into his Kenzo run. Yeah, and went eight. Awful. So he can bounce back. He's just got a terrible draw to overcome. Mm. But I think he'll improve at Canterbury. Okay. Sophia's Magic, 1900 or 1550? Oh, I think 1900, soft draw. She's won over the tr distance at the track before. Probably her last win about a year ago. Mm -hmm. She needs to lift, Charlie. Amati. 1550. Yes. Fourth up. She's fit. She's ready. Yeah. Good run last start. Things didn't Third really go away. Um, tricky gate, but 
but um, she'll be hard to beat. She's got to be winning soon, isn't she? Very soon. Very soon. Okay, then a Mooney Valley, just the one, I believe. Ceremonious, drawn eight. Yes. He's had two starts, both been good. 1,500 metres, probably a touch short, but G's been racing well and he's got Damien Lane to ride. And then just a special for Brad Moore. We're going to the sunny coast on Brad. Friday. It's good to see Brad. For Taranaki. It? Yeah. Isn't he excited? He is. They all are. Taranaki. Yeah. Um, just, oh, it's a heavy 10 there at the Denise moment. Denise start. He'll, hmm? need his, he'll need his Taranaki gumboots on if he's going, yeah. if the track doesn't improve. Uh, so that's my only concern, but the distance 2200 should be fine, but a heavy track. Stable mates in the race there, Miss, yeah, Miss Brittany. She'll be the one to beat. But okay. um, let's hope Taranaki gets the money. Mm, indeed. Righto. Have a fantastic weekend, Elf. What's, What's your best? Salt Coats. Salt it, was my bar, it was my best last Wednesday. Right. When it galloped with Switzerland, who then oh, spanked it. them. Dude was good, wasn't he? Oh, didn't he? Wow. Straight Just wallop them. Second favourite in the Yes, wallop them. In the slipper? Yeah, over a thousand metres. <laughs> Eh? It was pretty good. Not that yours don't do that over that distance normally, unless they're exceptional. And salt coats are smoking alongside them, and <laughs> salt coats into shopping a spree third up. Okay. Remember the start of the prep, Lofty said, "Oh, give him that soft jump out instead of the trial. He's just prim been priming this horse, I reckon." Good. Yeah. So. You heard it here first. Have a fantastic weekend, all. And we'll see you soon. Oh, and we'll lace your mist in the final tonight. Race 6, Box 8.